Nova Scotia is expanding its delivery of health care services by making more doctors available virtually. It's all in an effort to manage the list of people looking for a family doctor that continues to grow longer each day in that province. Brett Ruskin joins us now from Halifax with more details. Good morning, Brett. Great to see you. Uh, tell us about this program. Well, Hannah, this is an expansion of this program, as you mentioned, for more Nova Scotians to get the chance to get that video call with a family doctor. Now, keep in mind, this is while folks wait on that waiting list for a family physician to have that in-person assigned family physician. And how long is that wait list? Well, it's now more than 100,000 people long, uh, and there's about a million people in Nova Scotia, so that means 10% of Nova Scotians are on this list. So that is a big list and it is increasing day by day, month by month. So enter virtual care. Now again, this is the, the service that allows Nova Scotians to have that video call with a doctor before this, uh, before this week or so. Uh, Nova Scotians had to be on the main doctor wait list to get on the virtual doctor wait list to maybe get that video call. Now Nova Scotians who are on the main wait list can sign up to try to get access to 150 or 200 appointments that become available every single day to see uh, between 50 and 60 doctors who are available for this service. Now, if this sounds like that service Maple that allows Canadians to pay for access to those video calls with doctors, it's because it's exactly like Maple. In fact, the government is paying Maple, the provincial government is paying Maple to uh, provide this service to Nova Scotians. Again, just the, the latest effort here on the East Coast in Nova Scotia to try to offer care and offer appointments to patients while the doctor, can, while the, 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 the province continues its search for family doctors. Anna. Brett Ruskin in Halifax, thank you so much.